Picture a bright Tuscan morning in the 12th century. A brand new marble bell tower rising above Pisa, gleaming white, perfectly vertical, or so the builders thought. Then slowly, almost imperceptibly, the ground beneath it shifted. The tower began to tilt. Panic rippled through the workforce. Architects rushed forward, hoping the movement was temporary. It wasn't. By the time construction reached the third story, the entire structure was leaning south, threatening to collapse long before it ever rang a single bell. Facing disaster, the builders made a decision that still feels surreal. They tried to correct the tilt by building the upper floors in the opposite direction. The result was a tower that grew like a question mark. Layer by layer, the masons angled the stones northward, hoping to counterbalance the sinking southern side. For a brief moment, it worked. The tower actually began leaning the other way. But the soil beneath Pisa, soft clay and sand shaped by ancient rivers, had its own plans. As construction continued across nearly two centuries, the tower's foundation shifted again, pulling the monument back toward the south and locking it into its iconic lean forever. It didn't become a tourist attraction. It became an engineering crisis, trapped in slow motion. Here's the twist most people never hear. The lean isn't static. For centuries, it worsened. By the late 20th century, the tower was tilting so dangerously that engineers warned it could fall. Then came one of the most delicate rescue missions in architectural history, soil extraction, anchoring, counterweights, actions so precise they reversed the lean by 17 inches without straightening the tower or erasing history. The tower survived, not because it was perfect, but because humans refused to let imperfection win. And that's the truth. The Leaning Tower of Pisa isn't famous because it leans. It's famous because it should have fallen and didn't.